Hey everyone, welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking, where every day can be an adventure in your kitchen. My name is Heather, and today we're making a four layer dessert. My family makes four layer dessert several times a year, and I thought this would be a great time to share with you some of our family's favorite recipes during 2022. So we're gonna start out with a sweet one because as some of you know, I love sugar. Well, you can tell I love sugar, but I really love sugar, and this one is a sugary treat. It is so delicious. It has a pudding layer. It has a cream cheese layer. It has a like shortbread kind of cookie layer. Um, and then of course it has a whipped topping layer. It is so good. And it is actually relatively easy to throw together on a whim. So are you ready for this adventure? I know that I am. Let's go. Okay. So I'm gonna use my food processor to bring the shortbread crust together. However, you don't have to, but I'm using it because I have it on my counter still from the holiday season. And it just makes putting the crust together a little bit easier and I'm all about the easy. So if you need the measurements for this recipe, I will leave it in the info below, or you can find it at adventuresineverydaycooking.com. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put our flour and our nuts in the food processor. So the original recipe calls for pecans, um, but I have walnuts today and I've used both interchangeably and they work just the same. Um, so we're just gonna give this a few pulses before we get our butter in. All right, next I have a cup and a half of very cold butter and we're just gonna pulse it and drop these in. Alternately, you could do this with a pastry cutter or um, a pastry blender of some sort, but I love using my food processor for this. And as long as you add them in in chunks, it'll do a great job. All right, and then we're gonna continue to pulse until we see no chunks of butter left. And it will look like a fine cookie crumb. All right, this looks great. Right, now we are gonna take our cookie crumb and we're gonna dump it into a nine by 13 pan. And we are gonna use our hands and we are gonna press it out into the crust. And for those of you gluten-free folks, this does work with a all-purpose gluten-free flour. Um, so definitely give it a try. All right, there we go. Okay, we're gonna get this into a preheated 350 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes or until everything is light golden brown. At the end of that time, we're gonna take it out and we're gonna let it cool completely. So into the oven it's gonna go, I'll be back. Okay, our crust is all cooled. So now let's move on to our second layer. So this is layer number one. This is layer number two. In this bowl, I have eight ounces of softened cream cheese that I'm just gonna give a little mix. And I am going to add one cup of powdered sugar. Now you wanna add this kind of slowly or else you're gonna get a poof of sugar everywhere and you'll be cleaning sugar off of everywhere. And we are gonna beat this for about two minutes or until a little bit light and fluffy. Next, we are gonna add in one cup of whipped topping and we are gonna fold it through until combined. So we're not gonna use the mixer. And you definitely wanna make sure that your whipped topping is defrosted or else it will just seize up that cream cheese and all that work you just did will be for nothing. You just wanna keep folding until it's smooth. Look at that, beautiful smooth. All right, so now we are just going to pop all of this on the crust. Now, it's very important right now that your crust is completely cooled. It just needs to be completely cooled or else when you put the layers on, it will melt and it will be awful. So we are just going to spread our cream cheese layer into all of the corners. All right, now time for our next layer. We have a clean bowl and to this clean bowl, we are going to add two small packages of instant pudding. 
chocolate instant pudding. To that, we're gonna add three cups of very cold milk. And we are gonna whisk this until it is soft set. So and that will take about two minutes. All right, and you know it's soft set when you start to whisk and you see the trails stain in there. See that, how there's trails stain there? That's perfect. Now we are gonna spread it on the crust. And we're gonna try to spread it out evenly so that we don't get big puddles of it in places. But as you can see, it's already setting up so nicely. Now we are gonna take our offset spatula or our spreader and we are going to spread it into the corners. Be very careful as you spread because sometimes that cream cheese will get a hold of it and kind of scoop onto the top. And we definitely don't want that. We want the layer to be all brown. There we go. Looks pretty level to me. And now for the final layer. Now all we're gonna do is top it with some whipped topping. Now, this needs to be defrosted so it's easy to spoon out. Um, you may want to give it a little stir in your container um, and you're just gonna wanna put on about as much as you think you need. It's about two cups-ish, give or take. So we're just gonna dollop it kinda all over the top. Again, spreading it out because when we start to spread this one, it will really pick up that chocolate if we're not careful. All right. And now we're just gonna spread it out, same way. So now, as hard as it is to wait, we're gonna have to get this into the refrigerator until cold. This will probably take anywhere from three to four hours. Um, otherwise, you can just put it, like make it tonight and then have it tomorrow morning for breakfast. It's totally breakfast food. It's not breakfast food, but I'll still have it for breakfast because I will be back tomorrow to cut into it and taste it and show you how delicious and how beautiful it is. It sets up so beautifully. It's an amazing little dessert. Okay, I'll be back tomorrow to show you the results. Welcome back to Confessions with Heather. It is not tomorrow. It is in fact the same day and it's been three and a half-ish hours since last I saw you, but it is ready and we can wait no longer. We have to dig into this. There are too many people in my household saying, when can we eat it? So guess what? We're gonna eat it now. So I could not find my chocolate, so we're gonna use sprinkles for the top. Um, you could totally use sprinkles. Do not put the sprinkles on until you are serving it because the sprinkles will actually melt into the whipped topping and it'll make it runny. It's not a pretty sight, but if you sprinkle it on right before you serve it, it's ideal. Um, Chocolate curls, same idea. Only put the chocolate curls when you are about to serve it because they will kind of melt and kind of ooze and just trust me on this, you just don't wanna do it. It'll make the dessert not look as appealing as it looks right now. So to serve this, we're just gonna cut it in kind of like cake, cake pieces. So I'm just gonna stick my spatula down, make sure I cut through the cookie bottom. right and we're just gonna lift it right out as best as we know how because you know the first piece is always a little wonky well due to the fact that it's the first piece <laughs> oh, okay let's try that again there we go all right so the first piece always looks crazy but the second piece always looks good but that's okay we'll eat the first piece and call it good so let's sprinkle some sprinkles on it actually you know what you know what i'm gonna do 
my husband's, whoa, I just sprinkled. My husband's been asking for this for the last hour. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and give him this one and then I'll cut a fresh piece so that you can see the fresh piece. Okay, now that the first piece has successfully been served, let's go on to the one that's gonna make the thumbnail. Oh. And have a mic while I do it, right? Oh my word. It's cause it's like 10 o'clock at night. I wasn't thinking about mics. I was just thinking about the four layer dessert. Okay, you ready? Dun, 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 dun. Look at that beauty. And the extreme close up. Oh yeah, four layer dessert. And we are gonna taste it now. The cookie bottom. And we say the word cookie loosely because obviously it's just flour butter and nuts, but it offsets everything so very well. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. The cream cheese layer is so rich, but then the pudding layer is so, oh, I don't know. You'd think that this would be a really sweet dessert, but it's really not. It's not sickly sweet like some other things can be. It is so, so good. Mmm, that's so good. Mmm. All right, you guys. Well, did you enjoy that adventure? Did you enjoy me sharing one of our family favorites with you? I hope so. If you did, give that video a like. It really does make a difference. Um, also in 2022, I want you to share your favorite recipes with us so that maybe we will do one of your recipes in the next adventure. Wouldn't that be fun? Otherwise, I'm gonna look for my own adventures, I'm gonna show you some of my family favorites, and we are gonna have a great time in 2022. All right, you guys, well, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.